Hey everyone, it's Yatande here and in this short video I'm excited to show you how great it is to control Bitwig with Minilab 3. Let's dive in. Bitwig is one of the most fun to use DAWs available. Therefore, we've spent a considerable amount of time to make sure Minilab 3 responds to its best features, allowing you to navigate and play it flawlessly with minimum mouse and keyboard action required. Thanks to it, you can navigate your session, trigger loops and clips and record ideas fast. Bitwig comes with a dedicated Minilab 3 MIDI script and protocol which allows Minilab 3 to be recognized instantly after launching it alongside your DAW. However, it is good to make sure to use the latest DAW versions to ensure the best Minilab 3 integration experience. If you do not have the latest DAW version, make sure to watch the FAQ video on how to set it up without it, which you can find in the description. This means that you do not need to dive deep into the menu to set things up. It's done the moment you launch your DAW. First thing that'll be a good starting point is the control over our tracks inside of Bitwig's clip view. To change tracks and arm them, press shift plus turn the main encoder. The navigation also automatically arms the track. Arming the track will allow us to play the instrument that's on it as well as record our first clip with some musical ideas. So on this first track, we have a drum machine with a few sounds sounding like this. Now let's record a little four bar pattern. To do that, I simply press the first Minilab 3 pad that lights in red and play the drums either from the pads or the keys, like in this case. Now let's go ahead and record this loop. As you saw, before the bar ended, I quickly pressed the pad again to make sure it looped nicely. Now we can continue to work on our song idea by adding another sound. Now let's drag and drop an Analog Lab V instance on the next track and navigate to it from Minilab 3 by using Shift main encoder like this. Now what's interesting to see here is that once we load Analog Lab into Bitwix tracks, we can switch Minilab 3 mode to Arturia mode, which will allow us to browse through and control Analog Lab easily. To change the mode, press Shift plus Prog until you see Arturia on the Minilab 3 screen. So now let's quickly browse through the Analog Lab to find a nice bass sound. So now that we have our sound ready, we can switch back to the DAW mode by pressing Shift plus Prog and again arm the track by pressing the main encoder and then press the clip pad to start our recording, like this. Now lastly, let's navigate to another track and add more melodies. Let's drag and drop this instrument. Okay, now let's get this rhythm going. And that's really it. I hope that while watching this video, you've had the chance to see how flawless it is to use Minilab 3 with Bitwig. For more detailed information on Minilab 3 and how to use it, make sure to watch our remaining educational video series for this product. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon!